Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to make your stainless steel sinks look like they're brand new or as close to it as you can make them. Give them a nice shine and touch them up. Now, I love stainless steel sinks. I love how when I pour hot water in it, I don't need to worry about um, breaking the sinks like you would with other brands out there. And the tough part with them is they show a lot of hard water, and I live in an area with horrible hard water. They show a lot of spots and a little rust stains. You put something metal on there, you know, if you're like me, sometimes you forget to wash a pan and it sits in there for a day or two. You pull them up, you get kind of a weird rust colored stain on the bottom. And that's really annoyed me, but I found a product I've been using for a couple years now that really helps fix that issue. Wanted to demo it here. Now, this product was not sent to me. This is my own review. I paid my own money to buy this, and I just wanted to show you my guide and how I keep my kitchen sinks like this looking like brand new. Now, real quick though, before we get into that, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully I can help you, in this case, learn something new. Maybe make your kitchen sink look like it's brand new. Now to do this, I'm gonna be using a product called Perfect Sink. Now this is available in a lot of different stores. It's actually been around a little while. The bottle I have here says new, but it's actually been available for a while. I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below if you wanna get this. But this is a clean, shines, and protects. So this puts like a polished looking finish back on it will really help get some of the more difficult stains um, off of it. It says it works with stainless steel, cast iron, and Corian countertops. So keep that in mind. I've used this on stainless steel. I haven't used it on the others. So um, your experience with Corian or, excuse me, with, um, yeah, Corian um, and stainless steel and, or, um, and cast iron could be different. So keep that in mind. But what you do with this, it's very simple. Um, you can have a little bit of water, but mostly have it fairly dry sink. And what I do is I just pour a generous amount of this uh, into both bowls before I scrub it in. Now, this is very abrasive. It's an iron tint. I would recommend either be very careful like I am in not getting this on your skin, uh, definitely not on your eyes or other areas, or wear a pair of gloves. But you know, right now with everything happening, gloves are a little bit uh, rare and needed for other purposes. So I'm just gonna be a little careful here and how I do this. Um, and I probably put a little bit too much in there for this, but that's okay. From here, the only other thing you need is some paper towels. But what I do here is I just wad up a pair of paper towels and I start scrubbing all over the place with this. I scrub different spots and different areas of the countertop all the ways around. Um, you can always add more. I actually will dig down into that a little farther here with this in a minute. But just kind of Scrub here until you get rid of the stuff. This is an abrasive type of cleaner. If you use Comet, you're probably very much uh, familiar with how to get this kind of stuff working with it. Works a lot like Comet. I just find this is a lot more effective than Comet, though I, would pro I use Comet a lot more for the everyday type of cleaning. Now, you can see real quick before I go any farther that you're definitely taking a lot of gunk and dirt off of this. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing real quick here. I'm not gonna go nearly as hard onto this as I typically would. And we'll spot right there, scrub that for a second. But this is what you gotta do here to get this sink to look nice. Kind of give it a quick once over. And again, you can really dig down into it. See a little bit more dirt and grime here. Get on the top. Be careful what kind of countertop you have. Um, I have a stone uh, poured quartz kind of countertop here. Um, so this is fairly safe to get on there. If I have, for instance, laminate, I'll be a lot more careful about not getting this on the countertop because it is abrasive and it can damage some surfaces. Let me kind of get down there. See, it does a really good job getting into some of these cracks in different areas. So there you go. Now, I would typically do a lot more scrubbing on this. I often come back now with a, um, a, another one I would scrub more, but I'm actually now gonna take the water, rinse this off, and then polish it up a little bit. I'll show you in a minute. But let me do that. Thank you. 
All right, now you see I didn't do a lot up here because I don't really want to spray this stuff all over the place. Now I take another paper towel and I kind of go and buff it out. I touch up little areas like this where I didn't want to spray the water quite as much. I kind of go right through here real quick, buff this all through. Get a lot of this, probably spray this down a little bit more with water, but for this demonstration, you can get an idea of what this looks like. Switch over to the other side, grab another paper towel. And you don't need to use a lot of paper towels. Again, if I was using gloves, I wouldn't be quite as worried about getting this stuff on my skin, but since gloves are a little bit hard to come by right now, I don't want to be wasting the gloves I have on the cleaning. So I'm using a little bit more paper towels than I typically would. But as you can see real quick, a noticeable improvement right off the bat in what this looks like. And I could kind of scrub here real quick, get some of this additional staining off. Honestly, if I'd spent a little bit more time to scrub it, this would probably look a lot better. But you can see, definitely a noticeable improvement right off the bat with just a quick light scrubbing. Now, the longer you do this, the better it is. Um, I've seen some people use a little light brush when they get to the phase where they've kind of done their first scrubbing of it, take a brush and then get the harder spots all over. That's one option here you can also do with this. I typically just use paper towels. That's been more than effective for me. Now, one thing with the shine and the clean, I find the more often I do this, the brighter the shine is, a little bit more elbow grease in it, the better it looks. How often I do this? I do it about once a month. I do a nice deep clean. Of course, you know, throw some 409 over this, get a rag, wipe it all off, like you would typically do with any sink or countertop. So keep that in mind, uh, but overall I find this is the best product out there to kind of make my sinks look like new and shine really well. Um, and when you get this, if you notice a little bit of uh, film, don't be afraid to get in here and rinse it up a little bit and then get back in there with another paper towel or another round with that too. So just keep that in mind. You do kind of have to scr um, scrub this off when it's all done. but. Two thumbs up overall, very easy as you can see. Just a few minutes of work um, here and already a noticeable improvement in how these things look and up here. I really do love to getting a little bit more in there. Always be careful if you have a disposal, but really kind of grinding in, especially in these cracks, it does a really good job of getting that layer of filth that can kind of develop in the cracks of your drains and getting it out. So if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us. Let us know if you have any questions. And if you wanna learn more about this product, check out the link in the show notes down below so you can find out more. But hopefully this has helped you get your kitchen sinks to look like they're brand new.